Aerokamano Aerokamano Ahinya Kapo Kaluongo Nyawangaya Kendo po Kaluongo Jotendwa Kotan Giraila Molo Dinga Gematha Karua Gikalonzo Msioka Giyujin Wamalwa Gimin Pin Tigiwaja Koya a watch my tin. Takwa yo u. Nadwa loso gi dongere. Nikej gi mo wacho ka e bondo ka. Why do not chop malo? A watch koso ki kawaji. A watch koso ki kawaji. Pre ruto. Ruto if you are a Christian. If you are a Christian who is truthful, you will hear my words today. They are this uh, man called Kome. Kome said that as a Mio hired corpses and alleged that they were killed by the police. Now I want to show Ruto that Kome was lying. There is our very own Nyati game Manunge Bondo Kama Bera Enya Kendo Woi Mutegno Mangidalagi David Otieno Okunge David Otieno. Jadimonge David Otieno. Abiro, abiri mano. Abiri mano. Wawacho take a uno. Now, Ruton, listen to this. Listen to this. The person who led operations during the killing in Bondo, during the killing in Bondo, was not somebody from Central, was not somebody from Nyanza, was not somebody from Western, was not somebody from the coast. The person who led the operation in Bondo, my chief bureau. My chief Biro. My chief Biro. My chief Biro. You know, Kome said that we hired dead bodies from the mortuaries. Police protocol. Police also have their protocol. When you die an unnatural death, whether in a hospital, or outside the hospital, they cannot receive that body and conduct a post-mortem without the participation of the police. So when David was killed here in Bondo, the person who led the operations, the chief was a small man, but I'm coming about the chief. We shall say everything the person who took the body for post-mortem was one called, let me look at the name properly in case I'm accused. Uh, it was somebody called uh, a sergeant, no, it's not a sergeant. It was not even a corporal. Somebody called Bundo Teach. Now they are saying we hired the police record, this is a, a, an application form signed by the police for the conduct of a post-mortem on David. This post-mortem is signed by a police officer. The body was recovered by a police officer. For post-mortem, the people who asked for a post-mortem to be conducted was a police officer. The person who escorted the body 
to the mortuary and also for the post-mortem was a police officer. Now, there is another of our friends called Eliam Michael Oduor. Michael died in Kisumu. There's a post-mortem form here, signed by the police, asking the doctors in Jaramogi, Oginga, Odinga to conduct a post-mortem. It is signed by a police officer. The person who escorted the body is called Tunui Gilbert. Tunui, Tunui, Tunui. I don't know whether there's a, somebody in Azimio leadership known as Tunui. I've not heard so far. Oh, Paranya, do you have a name like Tunui? <laughs> and I've got all the post-mortem reports here. They show. In fact, the post-mortem say they died of gunshot wounds. All of them. Now, how Ruto can go and congratulate the police for killing people? I wonder whether there's a Christian or a pretender. And that is a question that I must answer. Now, the chief here, the chief here, the chief here, and we know some of police in Goma, Makma, Makma. Mana mo yaji giwang, mana mo yaji giwang. Tae tomedo uwang o yaji. No kau Kenya kwanza lilo. Temo di ko idalage. And we know waburo rango wachne. Warango se ki warangi. Warango se ki warangi. I want to tell you and tell the whole nation that the killing during Mandamano was something which was planned in the National Security Council shared by Ruto. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, why it was planned by Ruto. Never before, Raila and myself have been in demonstrations since Kenyatta's days. There are things that happened during this mandamano that we've never seen before. And I'll go one by one. I have never seen, even when we went to Kamkunji, that assault weapons were being used against the people. It wasn't an assault weapon. An assault weapon is a weapon which has got uh, a wide range. It is for military use, and it has got precision. If you look at the body of Ward Sialaka Duel, David, the gunshot came from an assault weapon, which has never been used before. Number two, never before in the history of Kenya, I've seen during demonstrations when handguns were used. Handguns can be a pistol or a revolver. I've never seen before a handgun being used by the police. And the police not in uniform. Number three, I have never seen police snipers who wait for you as you're passing by with a revolver and a hand, a handgun or a hand weapon, and you are shot from close range. It has never happened. Number three, if you look at the Black Maria they are using now, those water cannons, they are militarized. They are not supposed to be used against the people. They have gadgets and enforcements that can go through barriers. And that is only used in military operations. These cannons that we are fighting against, if you look at them carefully, they are not supposed to be used against dem demonstrators. Number five, since more than 60 people died, 
I have not heard of a police officer recording a statement. And I've been going around trying to get a statement from all these stations where there were injuries. Reports are made, but there is no single statement written in terms of taking action against the deaths of our people, which shows clearly, and I've done law for many years, it is beyond reasonable doubt that the policy taken by this government is to intimidate, to blackmail, and to use scotch art policy. Ruto Dwaron Mund Ulwar Niku said or no negiji Nimonokuru Beda Beda or Kokucha. Watch now Uruni Ongeringo Jadimo Yen Ongering, 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 Ongering. Chief Mackay in Wodwa in Wodwa. Tokawa Sigo Biro. To don't you dollar need it to take a dollar? To bed more tongue. Or bed more tongue. On the issue of Kome, Raila Mulodinga, and you got two senior councils who are in their Zimil leadership, Kalonzo Musioka and Martha Karua. These petitions sometimes is a political process. They'll use people they know, they use the people they work with, you will send a petition, it will be dealt with summarily. To deal with Kome, me I have two solutions. To Kirudi Kwa Mandamano, there should be a Kome day, Kome must go, Kome must go, Kome must go. Second, second, second Raila Molodinga. I ask you that we should institute private criminal proceedings on behalf of Azimio leadership. There's an offense called criminal libel, defamatory libel, which is a criminal offense under a penal code. It has not been used for a long time. I, I, I invite to TND and the rest of the team, let us sit down and make out a case we go to court on Wednesday or Thursday. Katawaj ma gaman anya loketo pain. Anya loketo pain. Ma kumnaka kete pain to otare manyalo and the acting. Mondo. Nobody in Kenya is above the law. Even Ruto is not above the law. We summon Kome in criminal proceedings to answer to, to the charge of criminal libel. What team goes like a team? What team goes like a team? Mara Reo, Matia Kogo, Jacom, Oluongo Ebura, Moroma Council of Governors. We've been told to go for a meeting for Council of Governors. And it is going to be opened by President Ruto, so to speak. I'm saying so to speak because we don't recognize him. Now, we as the MIO governors are the only ones without security. Wanyaongaya has no security. All even, even bodyguards were taken. Jacoma has no security. Minpinya has no security. Kaloza has no security. Martha has no security. Wandai has no security. Gogo has no security. Otiende has no security. Buramacha lo kamano wa di ome ango. Buramakamano wa di ome ango. We cannot sit down with somebody listening to him when he has taken away security from uh, Baba. I do not say onge a member of Council of Governors. I we will propose. We'll have a meeting so that we resolve that we cannot go into a meeting presided by Ruto when he has taken away the security of our leader, Raila Amolo Odinga. Watim Kamano Kosoki Kwatim. Anadwa Tiekonia. Baba Pinochiek. Katakawani Half Term. 
Sawania na na half term. Wapindi warangu kakaji loso. Tuwangene ya half term. Half term nisho na wachako uige mani chunge mandamano. Koro wakwano one day, two day, teacher beach for one half term. To chie minena na na kaji ogo loso iyo mupogre. To wadoki school. Wadoki school. Wadoki school. Wadoki school kwa zaki kwa doki. Yo wasia kai munek mangeni molo e Kenya mangema. Kin kwa tiko diche ma kin bro do kwa sei kwa joge ma uchel. Kwa tiko diche ma kin yo ganya go gunja wabro wabro iko ya dek ma diche ma kin rumo kin. Alego usonga kwa tiko diche ma kin ya reyo. Rarieda ya reyo. Bondo ya reyo. Magiji ya parga ngwento moko pod ni subtal. Nitie wod bondo kama nogo risasi. Ma risasi ni e oboye nyakasani. Kakagolo tamo daktache. Nitie wod imbo kai. Moko agadi sasi kaji neno bondo ka. Kendo goe gudi uchengo go tindene gi military kind of weapon. Kano tere subtal kae. Tongad tiende. He was amputated. Tingen sama ninga to tiende ne to no kongeyo. En ko chieo. To koro angre kama. Kako bed. To ido no onge tiende. Koro chako penye no unga to tienda nao. Unga to tienda nao. Abe kanadhi nene. To penye no rengo. Yogo unga to tienda nao. Nikaj no kongeyo kwa gino no timore. Resources are not going to the channel parallel. Oh, me, what you do? You give my gig, you give Kioni, Ile Sufria Yako, Sufria Yako, Ilikwana Fanya Kazi Zamani Sana. Kama Kuna evil spirits, Unachkua Yo Sufria and Mambongine, Una Piga, Ile, Ile, Ile. Ile, evil spirits yende. Na wakati unapika sufuria, unasema nya, nya wawa. Ruto nya wawa. Gona uruga chagwa nya wawa. Nya wawa kiko wakanga tosego nya wawa tiko uwi. Nya wawa, uwi. Nya wawa. Nya wawa. Erul kama no warwa nyawa ngaya gaba na mahoma be erul kama